SpongeBob is one of the most popular cartoon shows to ever exist, and it's also one of my favorite cartoon shows out there. And that's why today I decided I'd be getting the Platinum Trophy on both SpongeBob Rehydrated and SpongeBob Cosmic Shake. Now we will be starting off with the SpongeBob Rehydrated game since this was the first of the two to get released, and I'll be breaking this Platinum Trophy down into three different steps. Step one is to complete the story, step two is to get all the miscellaneous trophies I didn't get through my first playthrough, and then step three is to get all the collectibles for the 100% trophy. And starting off with step one, here's all the trophies that I got for just completing this story. And with all the story mode trophies out of the way, I want to go over a few of the miscellaneous trophies that I got during this playthrough as well. And the first three I want to go over are the three trophies for defeating 100 enemies with Spongebob, Patrick, and Sandy. Now these next two trophies were for getting 15 of Patrick's socks and for collecting all the golden spatulas and bikini bottom. And while I was completing the story, I only got three other trophies after these two, and that was for talking to Squidward ten times, collecting all the golden spatulas in SpongeBob's dream level, and for destroying one of every type of robot in the game. And with all the trophies I got during my story mode playthrough out of the way, we move on to step two, and this is get all the miscellaneous trophies I missed. And the first one we had to go for is called Time for Tutorial, and this was for collecting all of the shiny objects in Spongebob's house. Bro, there's no way there's a shiny object right there I missed. There's the trophy, Time for Tutorial. I thought I was tripping, but there we go. Alright, so this next trophy is in Mermalair, and we have to just get this ball rolling across this whole path and get it over here so just complete the puzzle pretty much oh my god come on please this is it right here get in there no go in there now i gotta come over here bubble bowl this let's go keep it rolling complete the rolling ball puzzle in mermalair Alright, so this next trophy I'm going for is pretty simple. It's just for continuing this side quest in Mermalair. I just have to defeat the prawn boss fight. Oh, I guess it is a boss fight. Alright, so let's defeat this guy and we should get the next trophy. There we go. That's Dr. Prawn defeated. And there's my trophy, Shrimp Catcher. Defeat prawn in the Mermalair. And with the story being complete and all miscellaneous trophies out of the way, this brings us to our final step before we could get this platinum, and that's to collect all 80 of Patrick's socks and all 100 of the golden spatulas in the game. Alright, so the first two I didn't wind up recording. The ones that I got were get 50 spatulas and get 75 spatulas, and these ones were during the story as well. These were just the collectible ones, but here's the trophy for collecting 50 spatulas. And then here's me getting the trophy for Mega Spatula Seeker, and this was for getting all 75 spatulas. Hey you! Patrick needs to do laundry! There's the trophy, Sock Concert. Find half of Patrick's socks, 40. I don't know how I got that with only 30 socks. But, we got it early, I guess. Oh, it's because they take the socks away from me when I hand it in to Patrick. So every time I hand them in, it doesn't show it in my collectibles anymore. And after getting a bunch of those socks, I just continued collecting them until I got all of them. And this is where I got my last sock. Alright, so just across this way is my last Patrick sock. And after I get this, I should get the trophy for collecting all 80 of his socks. Yep, there it is. And just like that, Sock Opera collect all 80 Patrick socks and now that we got all of his socks we just have to turn them in and we can get a bunch of golden spatulas and here's the last spatula that he will give us and that will give us 96 spatulas and now that's all that's left to do before this platinum is to buy the rest of the spatulas from Mr. Krabs I'm not going to be able to afford all these but I'll buy what I can and just go collect more shiny objects damn I just need one more for this platinum but I can't afford it right now let's see how much I need your treasure chest's looking a bit... 7,500, and I have 3,500. Alright, so I think I'm just going to go to one of those robot machines and just continue to destroy robots to get shiny objects, make this easier on myself, and we should get this platinum, so let's do that. Alright, so I'm pretty sure here is where I can get the most shiny objects. Just continue to kill these guys, and then when I get to the bottom, just repeatedly destroy them. And there's Super Ultra Mega Spatula Seeker, and this should be the platinum trophy. Oh, 100% Spongebob, there we go. And then Neptune Spatula, let's go boys, we do that. 
And that's one of the two platinum trophies. And now we're going to move on to SpongeBob the Cosmic Shake. And I broke this platinum down into four different steps. Now this game is honestly way more fun than Rehydrated. This game has a lot more things to it, like certain combat trophies you can get. There's also even fun outfits that you can unlock throughout the game. So I definitely think this game is way better and it was more enjoyable to play. And here are the four steps that I broke this platinum trophy down into. Step one was to complete the story. Step two was to get all the miscellaneous trophies. Step three was to do all the boss fight specific trophies. And then the final step was to get all the collectible trophies. Now I won't be going over the story too much just to avoid spoilers but i will be showing you trophies that i did get during my first playthrough now this game has a ton of miscellaneous trophies so after completing the story i decided to clean up a bunch of these all right so if i just go up to this trampoline and just jump on it 10 times in a row i should get a trophy for this there it is bounce bob all right so the next trophy we're going to go for is called spring cleaning and this is for just sucking in a total of 100 enemies with the reef blower so we just grab it here and then just run around and get a bunch of enemies in it and there we go spring cleaning like in a total of 100 enemies with the reef blower all right so now we're gonna go for the trophy where we just bubble enemies 100 times and i'm just gonna sit here and continuously bubble this guy since he's just stunned every time he's out of it all right so after i bubble him this time right here i'll get the trophy there we go king of bubbles bubble 100 enemies now this next trophy is just to capture 50 jellyfish and i only have to capture two more so let's do that there's one and here's the second one and we should get this trophy there we go, jellyfish hunter. Catch 50 jellyfish. Bubble trouble. I wasn't even expecting that one. Bubble 10 tartar jellies that are currently engaged in an attack. All right, so this next trophy we're gonna go for is to collect 10,000 of these jellies and hold them all at once. And I'm just about to have to just run around Bikini Bottom and collect a bunch, but I only need 230 more. It shouldn't take too long. All right, I only need 29 more, and I'm pretty sure when I come up here, if I just suck in a few enemies with this reef blower, I should get it. Do this. And there we go, sponge jelly pants. Carry 10,000 jellies at once. Now the next trophy we're gonna go for is one where we have to destroy 500 objects like this, and I only have 19 left to do, so let's just get those out of the way real quick. All right, so I should be getting the trophy right over here once I break all this stuff. Yep, there we go, Spongeinator. Destroy 500 objects. This next trophy I got for just going up to this little weird creature up on the little wood log right there and just listening to him sing. And for this trophy, I just had to go onto this little beach area in one of these little portal locations and spin all six of these umbrellas at the same time. Now with this next trophy, I had to defeat 10 baby boom enemies, which is the enemy you're seeing right there in front of you with their own projectile by just hitting it back to them. This next trophy is called Jaws and Flaws, and I just had to have that little dig dug worm guy jump out of the ground and kill enemies. Shortly after this, I got another trophy called Wrath Tub, and this was for having that guy right there with the big bathtub defeat 10 enemies on his own. This next trophy is called Return to Sender, and all I had to do was just knock one of these small enemies into the big blob. Now for the trophy Friendly Fire, I just had to have an enemy shoot a projectile and hit his own teammate. So this is the last miscellaneous trophy that I need. I just have to destroy 25 ninjellies with hazardous things. Now the way that I did this, I just went into the Glovey the Glove World boss fight and just had Glovey shoot them with the goo for the hazardous effect to get them. Now with all the miscellaneous trophies complete, that moves us on to step 3. And step 3 is for me to just complete all the boss fight specific trophies. The first one I got was for having Glovey defeat 20 enemies in his boss fight. After that, we move on to the Pearl boss fight, and for this, I just had to complete the entire fight without getting hit once. Now this next one, I don't know if it's considered a boss fight or not, but what you have to do is throw these cakes on these plates without getting hit a single time. Now we move on to the Gary boss fight, and with this fight, I just had to complete it without getting spotted by Gary one time. Now if you've seen any of my other previous videos, you know that I am complete ass cheeks when it comes to stealth, so this took me a decent amount of time to do. And after that, I moved on to the Sandy boss fight, and just like most of these, what I had to do to get this trophy was complete this entire boss fight without getting hit once. Now this next one is with Mr. Krabs, and I wouldn't even really consider this a boss fight, because all you have to do is just catch Mr. Krabs in 3 minutes, you don't even have to fight him, you just chase him. And this last one isn't really a boss fight either. You just fight your way through enemies and have to get to the boat within five minutes. 
And now we move on to the final step. And for this, I just had to collect all of the golden spatulas, all the golden coins, and buy all of the outfits in the game. So the first trophy of the collectible ones I got is called Sponge Lock Home Pants, and this is for collecting all of the golden spatulas. And this next trophy is called Wanna See Me Do It Again, and you get this for completing all levels and for doing all the boss fights. Now you might be wondering, saying like, well, didn't you complete all the levels and do all the boss fights? I did the main ones. Now, if you collect all the coins, you get another like fight, I guess. I don't know what it is, but you get the trophy after getting all coins. And there's the finish line. So when we pull up here, it should be my last coin. There it is. Want to see me do it again? Clear every level and defeat the final boss. So I guess these coins are counted as kind of like a bonus level. So once you collect all of them, it's like completing an extra level. And now my very last trophy before this platinum is to just collect the rest of these outfits. I need 12,500 jellies to be able to buy all of these. And then I just have to figure out how to unlock this guy and I'll get the platinum trophy. Alright, so I just wanted to show you guys the method I've been using. So I've just been going to the parking lot in the karate downtown to get these little jellies. And I just keep on respawning here and just breaking all these boxes. And I'm pretty sure every time I do this, I get around two to 300. So... I'm getting a lot of these jellies pretty quick and then I'll just get all these tiki's destroyed, respawn at the parking lot and just continue to redo this until I'm able to afford all of the costumes I need. All right, so this should be my last run of jellies and I'll be able to afford all of the outfits in the game. So let's just get all these jellies real quick. Come over here, grab these ones, almost there. I might not be able to actually get enough here. I might have to come over here and grab them a few more need like four or five more get these there we go okay so now i could come over here and just buy all these outfits and all i need is this one right here and i get the platinum trophy all right so i figured out how i get this costume right here all i have to do is find the three fake dutchmans to complete the quest for the flying dutchman so that's what i'm going to do now here's the first fake dutchman here's our second fake dutchman right here and here's our last Dutchman right here. So we talked to him, and now we have to just go talk to the Flying Dutchman again over at the Candyville. And once we do this, we should get the Platinum Trophy. There we go, Fashion Hunter. That's for all the costumes. And one sponge to rule them all. We got the Platinum Trophy on SpongeBob Cosmic Shake, man. Let's go. That's both the games down. Now I hope you guys did enjoy today's video, if you did please make sure to drop a like and subscribe with post notifications on so you never miss out on any more of these amazing platinum trophy videos. And also make sure to comment down below some games you'd like to see me platinum in the near future, but with all that out of the way, I'll catch you guys in the next one.